If you are someone who's learned English as a second language, you might have noticed that your mother tongue has a significant influence on the way you speak. For example, you might mispronounce words such as English as English, school as school, student as student, pleasure as pleasure, and request as request. Not just pronunciation, but this influence can show up in a person's accent, intonation, and grammar. This phenomena is called as mother tongue influence or MTI. If you think MTI is unique to Indians, you are wrong. Even in the United States, we have accents of all ethnicities, Russian, Japanese, Spanish, Italian, and many more. Barack Obama has distinct deep voice going back to his African American heritage. Donald Trump has a typical voice of a white American. And Sundar Pichai speaks excellent English, but he has an easily recognizable Indian accent. While a certain level of influence is natural and can add character to your speech, it can also affect clear communications. Others might find your speech hard to understand. You communicate in English to exchange valuable information and drive positive change. If your listeners struggle to understand your message clearly, it would hurt your career. For example, Imagine you have to present a report to your boss. You have worked hard on this report and you're confident will impress the boss. But during your presentation, you notice your boss and people in the room are struggling to follow your speech. Your pronunciation is not clear and your intonation and rhythm is affected. You can see a hint of irritation on their confused faces. Your hard work has gone to waste and you feel frustrated and disappointed in yourself. But don't stress out. Mothering influence can be a challenge, but it's not something you can't overcome. So in this video, I will tell you four tricks to help you reduce your mother tongue influence and improve English communication. Number one, build your English environment. By immersing yourself in an English speaking environment, you can reduce your mother tongue influence and become more confident. Building an English environment is very simple. Watch English movies and TV shows which would help you become more familiar with English pronunciation and intonation patterns. You can also learn new phrases and idioms that you can use in your own daily conversation. Reading English books and articles can also help you improve your reading comprehension and expand your vocabulary. You can also practice speaking by reading out loud and recording yourself. Find conversation partners who are native English speakers and also trying to learn English. A great way to practice speaking and listening skills. Remember, if your current environment doesn't contain English, you have the power to design a new environment. Our environment affects our habits and personality and ultimately brings change. Keep practicing and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Number two, pay attention to the pronunciation of tricky words. So here's the deal. Create a list of the top 10 words that you struggle with. Then search and download .mp3 files of the correct pronunciation. Keep these files stored on your mobile devices and listen to them whenever you are alone or have earphones. After listening to each word, practice pronouncing the same word slowly 8 to 10 times. Make sure you are paying attention and trying your best to copy the correct pronunciation. Don't worry if you don't get it right the first time. It just takes practice. Just keep at it and practice regularly and you'll nail those tricky words in no time. Number three, seek feedback. You communicate to interact with others. The simple insight is important because sharing allows you to take feedback and improve yourself. Seeking direct feedback can be scary because you are aware of how others are judging you. Overcoming this vulnerability is difficult, but a simple strategy can help. Every time you speak to others, politely ask, Please let me know if anything is unclear and I will repeat myself slowly. This way you can quickly identify the words you struggle with the most and use tip number two to improve them. And number four, take a class or get a personal coach. So these three pointers up there can do wonders for your pronunciation, but some of you may feel a little shy about asking for feedback or may even struggle with sticking to a daily practice routine. If that sounds like you, do not sweat it. The most effective way to improve your English is by getting yourself a personal coach. A skilled coach can make a huge difference in your progress. They'll help you set realistic and achievable goals for improving your accent, give you feedback on the specific words you might be struggling with, and offer emotional support to help you keep motivated. 
So go ahead and give it a shot. Thank you.